Justin, can you talk us through the, the most worrying aspects of today? Oh, there was a few. Uh, yeah, I got beaten up around the contest, and that was probably mainly our mids. Uh, not yeah, we lost lost that battle, and then uh, we just couldn't we couldn't win contests ahead of the play. And when it's a pressure game and it's, there's no real ball movement in the game, especially early, like you just need to be able to win contests uh, or halve contests to get some field position. Now, we just had field position against us all day. Like the only probably second quarter we, we broke even and the last quarter was, yeah, the last quarter. It was already, already done by then, but the third quarter and the first quarter we just couldn't buff a field position. I think they had you know, over 30 uh, four and a half turnovers and we just, yeah, we couldn't win contests ahead of the ball. We couldn't, we didn't, we didn't shift the ball to try and make them defend. We just, yeah, got stuck in our back half. That um, that midfield battle, I guess, with your, your hit-out ascendancy, can you talk us through what you were seeing and how they won that battle? Well, they were just able to shift a lot better than us. Uh, they were able to, they were able to pressure us in the turnover when we, when we got first possession. Uh, and really, yeah, no matter what we, what we did, we just couldn't get any ascendancy. Then, you know, there's moments in the third quarter where we started going forward a bit more and we actually won some won some clearances and then kicked it forward and, you know, they intercept marked and, and back they went. So, um, yeah, they just got uh, yeah, ascendancy in all, in all aspects of stoppages, whether we won them or, um, yeah, they won them. Didn't feel like there was a response really when the game was alive at any point why do you think that was oh well definitely in that third quarter we internalized got stuck in our own heads um yeah and i mean the scoreboard got out of control players would have been worrying about that worrying about their own form yeah that and we just went away from any resemblance of a connected brand so yeah we spoke about it that three quarter time it was it, it was better in the last quarter uh yeah, we spoke about it after the game. We just can't. You, you got to fight. You got to fight through momentum as a team. You can't fight through it individually. So yeah, we tried to fight individual battles um, rather than connecting as a team and trying. Yeah. Uh, I guess this was a game where everything's on the line at the moment in terms of ladder positions mm. and whatnot. How much of a concern is that 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 fight just wasn't there in such a big moment? Uh, yeah, it's. But it is interesting the way you frame it. Uh, yeah, well, we would we would have loved to shown more in those moments, and but it's yeah, it's not it's interesting because it's not it's not necessarily that they give they play, your players give up. The player no one gives up. It's just yeah, you internalise in those moments, and it looks like you just become disconnected, and that's that's what happens. No no, no team gives up. It's just um, yeah, we go. We went around, went about it the wrong way, and we needed players to, you know, be the glue in those moments. We just didn't have enough. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep, uh, you know, educating our players and, and talking through those situations during the week. It's been quite a few times this season where the players have internalised. Mm. Well, why do you think that is? Uh, well, there's a lot of factors that come into it, and it's not. It wouldn't be the same for for everyone. No, it's not. You can't put a blanket over every player and say this is why they do it. Mm. Um, you know, expectations. Uh, you know, scoreboard. You know, poor start again. Uh, uh, yeah, their, their pressure was good, and we, and um, you know, the perceived pressure crept into it, and we showed a lack of composure with ball in hand. All that. There, there's different reasons for every player. So keep working our way through those. And I guess we've seen a lot in the AFL where young teams, they can stay, take a big step forward and then maybe the next season regress a bit. Do you feel this might be a case of this happening, that this isn't linear, per se? Yeah, I, I, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. You know, last year, um, we had a really good season. Um, you know, with who we lost, we, we got younger for whatever reasons. Uh, and we haven't handled the pressure as well as, as, well as we would have liked. Um, and that, that feeds into those moments in games where you know a lot more is expected of everyone, and um, we're not living up to it. And yeah, you know, like I said before, you, you tend to try and fight your own battles a little bit, and we've got to be better than that. Are you see now the finals are unlikely for you? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to go there. Like it's a headline. I understand why you asked the question, but 
you know, we need to we need to be playing better footy, full stop. So where the finals are in the picture or out of the picture, we need to get back to um, we need to get back to consistently playing our best footy, which we haven't done for long enough. You've had a pretty consistent group that you've stuck with all, all year and the results have been similar. Well, yeah, what do you need to find in the next seven games to, to change what's happening at the moment? Oh we'll just keep well <laughs> We'll keep rewarding the guys at Peel that play well. There's some good performances yesterday. Um, yeah, <clears throat> then we just keep selecting the team on its merits every week. Like um, I don't see there's a point in you know, playing the kids because we're already 17th <laughs> youngest on average. So we'll just keep picking the team on on its merits. Um, keep trying to pick the, the the team that's in the best form. Um, yeah, and you keep trying to prepare them and educate them and um, improve them each week. Do you know what's gone wrong with the starts and, and they're just struggling to implement it or is it a case of you need to sort of search for answers again to what's happening there? Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll stick on the same path. Like, uh, we, <clears throat> um, uh, we're, we're, playing, we're playing first quarters like uh, this thing's gone out of games. And we're not embracing the opposition's best pressure and, and best efforts. Uh, I would say that's across the season. I'm not necessarily talking about today, but that, that's what happens. What we overuse the ball, unpre unpredictable with our long kicks, um, uh, and then that allows the opposition to play the game in, in their front half and puts us on the back foot from the start. So uh, we'll keep working on certain areas of our game That'll help us in first quarters during the week. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can get on top of it. Do you think you need to change something pre-game, warm-up-wise, you know, in the rooms-wise, uh, to provide that we, we, We've done a lot of that behind the scenes. We'll keep looking to tinker, but we need to, yeah, we'll keep looking at other areas, absolutely. And how disappointing is it to go into three-quarter time with just the two goals in front of home fans? Oh, it's, then... Yeah, of course, it's, of course it's disappointing. Yeah, we, we didn't play the brand of footy we wanted to. Tackled, and the 50 metre penalty doesn't come. They score from it, and the tide. I guess the sting sort of came out of it for you guys. What's your thoughts? No, the, the game never changes on one instance. Don't yeah. Have an opinion on that uh, no, not really. Like it's yeah, it was it was more than one instance. It was a like a trend trend in the game where we got stuck in our back half all day. Um, we didn't get it right around con around stoppage. So yeah, that's one moment. Really hard for these guys. If you're a young group coming against a team like that, what's your message to them to try to get their heads out of this and all of that? We don't wallow in your own self-pity, really. Like, we're all disappointed, but we've got six days um, lead up to a great challenge. So we need to get around each other. We need to help each other get better, and we need to get, we need to get we need to bounce back. Thanks, cool. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.